Normality of Likert scale can be tested on SPSS either on the items uh, per se, like item by item, or on the composite scores combined. Let's say we have this combination of items together to form what we call a composite score. So we can just run a normality test on items by going to analyze then we have a uh, descriptive uh, statistics and then explore i will just need to put the items uh, together here and then i can go to plots uh, and check steam and leaf check histogram and check normality plots with tests click continue and click ok so here we have the results as you can see we have the statistics and the uh, graphs. Uh, if we go to uh, statistics here, we could see the items and we could see the sconis and kurtosis measure. As you can see here, we have the values should not go beyond plus minus two uh, for the data to be normally distributed. So in social sciences, Likert scale data is not normally distributed. And uh, this have implications on whether or not to use parametric tests. As you can see here, the tests of normality, especially Kolmogorov, Smirnov, and Shapiro work tests are all statistically significant, showing p-value less than 0 0.001, which is a statistically significant violation of normality. The same for Kolmogorov, Smirnov test. Then for this data, we can use what we call uh, uh, non-parametric tests. Also, parametric tests can be used, and this is what we call sensitivity analysis by using both parametric and non-parametric uh, statistics. Even, even though we check uh, other graphs, we are going to see like uh, histograms, uh, among others, we could see that we have uh, uh, not uh, this uh, bell-shaped curve that indicates uh, normality. So this is one issue with regard to Likert scale data distribution. Uh, so we can also analyze Likert scale normality from this, or we can just get the uh, sconis and kurtosis by going to analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. Then we move the items we want, for instance, to uh, test, and we can go to statistics and check uh, sconis and kurtosis and click continue and then OK. So as you can see here from the, uh, let's say the first table that, that we have, you can see that the sconis and kyptosis values uh, range beyond the plus minus two. In some cases, this means that the data is not normally distributed for uh, those items. Uh, so we have the, these tests and we have uh, Another test that we use, so we go to analyze and then non-parametric tests and we go to um, uh, legacy dialogues and then we can choose one sample Kolmograph Simirnov test and we could just put the variable here and click OK and we get the uh, statistics as you can see here again this this is statistically significant then we have this uh, strong violation of normality so these are the uh, measures that we use or the statistical procedures that we use to test normality and uh, based on which we have uh, to make a decision with regard or rather take a decision with regard to whether or not to use parametric uh, statistics uh, if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below also, there are issues with regard to univariate and multivariate normality. We can also test normality using the uh, AMOS structure equation modeling. If we have normality also using struct, uh, structure equation modeling uh, through smart playlist, we could run bootstrapping, especially if you have moderator and mediator variable, and that would really reduce the effect of non-normal data, data on the validity uh, of the results. So these are the um, techniques in short. If you have, as I said, questions, uh, you can post them below and see you soon.